So today we're going to talk about Astra and how you might become a better player on this agent overall. Speaking of getting better, today's video is sponsored by Gosu Academy, who from the 24th of October to November 5th are running a 10-day bootcamp to try and help you get better at Valorant. This course is there for you if you are serious about improving at this game and includes sessions from Neil Zeno, the former G2 coach and FPX analyst, and one session will even be led by some guy named Thinking Man's Valorant, so you know it must be good quality. All classes are recorded as VODs, so don't worry if you can't make every session, but head on over to Gosu Academy through the link in the description or in my pinned comment and sign up for the bootcamp today if you are serious about improving in this game. Thanks to Gosu Academy once more and let's dive back into the video. And so when it comes to getting better at Astro, we're going to take a look at three key things that you simply must be doing if you want to play this agent at a high level. Now, I'm sure that you guys all know about things like Astro sucking the spike or the fact that Astro is a good lurking agent. So we're not going to focus on some basics like that. We're going to talk about some things, though, that are maybe a bit more advanced that you must be doing. And the first thing we need to talk about is recalling Astro Stars. And I'm not just talking about, oh, you should recall your Astro Stars when you don't think they need to be used. I'm talking about using your recalled Astro Stars proactively because this is, I think, perhaps the biggest thing when it comes to playing Astro. And if you aren't doing this, you're probably better off playing Omen in your ranked games than Astro overall. This is a super important tip that you simply must be doing if you're playing this agent, if you want to play this agent well. So let's take a look, for instance, at uh, this sequence here, right? And this is a very common thing on Pearl, and this has become the absolute meta on Pearl overall, and that is this Astro Star right here that you can see on your screen. This is an attacking Astro Star that they are going to recall, and the idea behind this recalled Astro Star is as the you know smoke comes up for just a, a second or whatever it means that someone could cross over here right which means that if you are an opponent and you are looking down here right you're you're down here as a defender let's say i mean it's a pistol round but let's say you've got an op or for instance right you looking down here as soon as this astro star gets recalled that means that someone could be over here and swing you from this angle instead of this one right which creates a problem which means that you have to take a look at two different angles you can't just focus on one thing right that is the idea behind this astro star and it is so imperative that you use things like this. I cannot tell you how important this is if you want to be playing Astra at a high level because this Astra Star, there might be no one there, right? Because this is what pro teams will do all the time. They will recall this Astra Star just here. Sometimes there'll be no one there. Sometimes there'll be five people there. The thing is the defenders back here don't know what the answer is, right? There could be five people. Maybe they have all snuck behind here, right? Maybe it's no one. You could be on the other side of the map. The thing is you can condition your opponents. You can make them think, well, there could be someone there and I don't know. So I can't leave yet because if there is someone there, then I'm in trouble. And that is pretty much how these pro games are playing out. So, so often is because you'll get situations like this where the, the Astro Star comes up, Crashy sends down a Prowler and Ye has managed to sneak in behind, right? And you can see Cryo, he doesn't know, right? And so he has to play a more passive angle overall because he doesn't know, right? He can't come up here and, and push down, you know, towards, uh, for instance, the, uh, the tower. He can't come down here and just be staring down here because he doesn't know. And for this instance, Ye is there actually, and they're going to go for this B split here, eventually Optic. And this is something that you simply must be doing. And we have another good example of it here in this pistol round from DRX, where what they're going to do is they've got their three Astro Stars. This is a pistol round, so they only have three. Uh, and what they're going to do is this is going to become a full smoke, and then you're going to see they're going to recall both of these to manage to get into uh, this pushed up position in mid. So let's take a look at DRX doing this. And again, if you're not doing this as an Astra, you simply should not be playing Astra. It is as simple as that, right? So you see they get pushed up, recall one, recall the second one, and it allows them to get into this deeper pushed up position in mid just like that, right? And then if we take a look, Mako's got two stars left, right? And those two stars, then he's going to wait uh, the timer here for the smokes. Those are then going to become his two smokes for this round, right? And that is the way he's going to play this round. And this is, again, something that you should just be doing in general, right? Because DRX, they would do this as their kind of main default, right? Smoke here, two stars here, recall them both. I mean, even some teams then took this to put a third star down here as well. And they would, you know, with four stars, smoke off this, recall, 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 and, you know, potentially get up into these positions here. Because, again, it's the exact same thing, right? That if a defender is here and, you know, after you've seen that this might be the case in one round, Anytime they do this double recall in mid, you're always going to think, well, they could be there, right? And I don't know if they are there or not. You're either going to have to spend some utility to find out whether they're there or whatever, right? You're going to be left with a question mark 
are they there or are they not? And in some instances, you know, they'll do this double recall and then they'll just go for a five A-man exec, right? And you'll still be sitting here overall like going, well, there could be someone here though, so I can't leave yet. And then they do a five man exec and everyone's going, well, where are you, right? All the defenders are screaming, where are you? Uh, but then what you could do off the back of that is, okay, you do it again, right? And you go for an A exec again. And this time though, Mako's just lurking, right? And this time he's a lurker and he comes around here, right? And it causes absolute chaos for the defenders because you condition them with these Astra Stars as well. You make them think, there could be people there and I don't know and it conditions them and it freezes people in position and then they always, you know, are in a 50-50 situation. Do I stay? Do I go? I don't know what to do. They put defenders in a difficult spot by doing these recall stars and of course you can do this in other areas as well. You might, you know, do a recall star, for instance, somewhere like here on A to potentially cross in over towards this, right? And then you can create a double angle when you swing here in A main. You know, the defenders might not expect you to come from that other side, right? All of these kinds of things can be done and should be done must be done if you want to play astra at a high level particularly on this attacking side you should be recalling your stars all of the time to try and you know get into little wrathy areas to try and push up the map and basically see them as almost like a jet smoke just by recalling the star now of course if you are recalling these stars all the time you need to understand as well that you can't play super quick right when you're playing astro you probably shouldn't be going in five man exec straight off the rip every single round i mean you shouldn't be doing that anyway but especially with astro you shouldn't because you want to be using these recall stars all the time, right? So for instance, in this example with Mako, you know, he has to wait at least 13 seconds to get his second smoke back. So they're gonna have to wait at least 13 seconds, you know, to start their exec, right? And so that is something else you have to think about as well, is you need to be telling your team to not go for an exec yet, or, you know, wait for them or whatever, because you will ideally want those couple smokes to smoke the site. The second thing when it comes to great Astra play is having very good map awareness. I mean, first off, if your map isn't like this, uh, when you're playing Astra, you are trolling. Like, you are straight trolling. You must be able to see the full map when you are playing Astra. If you can't, then you definitely shouldn't be playing Astra. I mean, you probably should do it anyway in every ranked game, but, you know, it definitely must look something like that where you can see the whole map when you're playing Astra 100%. But let's take a look here at uh, Marv's map awareness, right? So we can see he's playing on the defensive side here on this Astra against Xset, and uh, he's actually got all four, four stars down, right? And you're gonna have to have very good map awareness, particularly on the defensive side, right? If, if you know, something's happening on the other side of the map, you need to know, you know, what utility can I use? What utility would be best used? Where is it best used? You know, you're gonna have to have that understanding of what exactly is going on. And, uh, you know, you're gonna have to have that planning in place and that map awareness so let's take a look at this right so marved here he's playing on this astra and what's going to happen is actually he's going to use his recall smoke again just another use for it he's going to actually use it here for victor and crashies to try and take a main they've just got some information off the ko knife that people were down here uh towards mid they'd suppressed i think these three players here in towards mid so they think okay this probably looks like an a split right off the back of that so there's probably only one person here maybe a second uh, towards a main so let's fight them as a two and you know go and do that and so Mart, he's going to recall these stars right he doesn't need these stars here uh, and he can actually help his team by using this as a recall star to let them get deeper as well you know he doesn't need these here anymore if they're gonna go and take a main right the this isn't doing anything now, right? If, you're, if your team has a main. So he's going to recall those stars because they aren't needed all of a sudden, right? And that is a crucial thing as well. You need to be understanding things like this. Victor manages to get the kill on BCJ and now they can just retreat. They've got the kill, right? Really, really great from Optic overall. They can then just retreat. They feel happy and knowing like, okay, you know, we, we got the first kill because of that good planning and because they took a main there. Really, really great from Optic overall. But then let's take a look at what Marv does next, right? So at this point, obviously they don't quite know exactly what's going on so he still keeps the two stars on b because it's you know very possible that you know xec could have uh, come back and now could be heading towards b the time has kind of elapsed for that to potentially be the case so he keeps his stars there because he doesn't know but now those two recall stars that he just had have come back as you can see and so he's gonna put them down here towards short and 
towards A main again because they feel like the pressure might be coming from there. And he guesses completely right. Great map awareness again from Marv here. And you'll see what he's going to do here is he's going to turn this star into an astrosock just here, which means that, yes, the jet can dash ahead, but it means that the jet is completely unsupported here uh, from the other two. And that means that, you know, this is going to be a lot easier for, you know, Crashies and Victor here to manage to get that kill, which they do uh, because the jet was completely alone. Whilst that's gone on as well, and he's seen, you know, or heard that the jet dash has come in, he smoked off the other side as well. And you might be thinking, oh, well, shouldn't he be recalling these stars at this point? But you have to remember, he doesn't know when this hit is going to come in. He isn't the one that's dictating when that is going to happen. So he needs to have his gun out. And this is another thing that you need to understand, particularly with Astra, when you should be in astral form or when you should be recalling stars and when you shouldn't. And particularly on the defensive side, that is a massive, massive thing because you don't want to get caught out, you know, in astral form or whatever, right? Or recalling stars when you should have your gun out. And in general, the general rule of thumb is probably it's better to just have your gun out, you know, unless you feel super safe. Probably don't, and so he shouldn't be recalling the stars in this instance. He should be doing what he does. Okay, he loses the fight to Zekin, but he manages to get a first kill either way. And from here, you know, it's an easy mop up round as the time is running down for Xset as well. Really, really nice from Optic overall. Good communication, good teamwork, great map awareness from Marv, and that is what won them this round. And that is how you need to be playing on Astra as well, is knowing, you know, when I should be recalling stars, having that map awareness of what is going on. Okay, three people got suppressed in short. You know, that means that we can recall these stars we're gonna go retake a main you know you need to be understanding the map at that level and then the final thing to really mastering astra comes down to strategic planning and particularly on the defensive side on the attacking side i think it's a bit easier because you can formulate a plan with your team and understand okay we're gonna go for a c exec straight off the rip right and you'll know that okay i'm gonna put a smoke in here i'm gonna put a smoke in here and i'm gonna you know i'm gonna do maybe a, an astra suck somewhere over here or maybe down here right or just common positions wherever you think the defenders might be playing uh and so you know that's that can be pretty easy but on the defensive side it can be pretty hard right do i need those stars where i'm side tackling or do do I need them on the other side of the map? Do my teammates need them instead, right? Do I trust myself to hold this down with just one star? Or, you know, do I need to put them? Where do I need to put them, right? It's, it's all a big question and you need to have good strategic planning and you need to really try and understand your teammates as best as you can. Are they aggressive players on the defensive side? Are they very passive, right? Because that's going to change as well how you're going to place those stars for your teammates, right? Because if they're being very aggressive, and for instance, this is Zeta Division here against Paper Rex, and uh, what they're going to do in this instance is, you can see they're going to get aggressive towards A main, and they actually have nothing on C. No one is really watching C other than the turret, which can uh, see people when they actually come and cross in onto the site, right? So they're going to get aggressive on A, and, uh, you know, they understand that. And maybe if you've got teammates that, you know, like to be aggressive here and hold this angle or whatnot, you might, instead of putting, you know, an Astro Star down here for them like a smoke here you might put an early astro star where uh sugar zero has here you know that's in a more aggressive spot that can turn into an astro suck and you know make this kill easier to get overall for your teammates right that is an advantage overall and something that again you should be thinking about overall but if we take a look at where the other stars are as well he's got one on b here to help with any b hit and also this is a curious one on c that you might be wondering what it's doing well you have to remember there is no one watching c really right they can't tell if anyone is coming down here there is no one to stop them at the choke point so putting a star here in the choke point is kind of useless to be honest and this one makes a lot more sense this is what i call a survival smoke overall uh, i'll probably make a full video about them one day but uh, for now let's just uh, consider that you know as paper rex if they did come down here eventually the turret is going to shoot at them and as soon as the turret shoots at them that is the you know signal for this star to go up as a smoke and when this becomes a smoke in on the site here it just creates problems for paper rex that they don't know that someone might be back here or not and so they're going to have to take the time to you know re-clear all those angles and make sure no one's in the smoke make sure no one's behind the smoke or you know around the smoke playing around it whatever and that time that Paper X are going to have to waste in this instance is going to mean that, you know, the rotates can start to come in. That's the whole idea behind it in this instance. But maybe next time that this smoke is placed and this time there was no one there, next time there will be someone there, right? And there will be someone playing in that smoke and it will, you know, condition Paper X to be like, completely uncertain of what is going on towards that smoke and so again the strategic planning aspect of it is very very important as well and so again you'll probably need good communication to play astra because you'll need to be coming up with plans with your teammates you cannot just play astra as a solo carry agent you need to be supporting the team as much as possible with your map awareness and your strategic planning overall to make this work
And if you do put the time into becoming a very good Astro player, then maybe you can eventually end up like Sugar Zero, who probably is the best Astro player in the world. And you can tell, even at the pro level, right? You could tell the difference between Sugar Zero and other pros playing Astro. You can tell how much time he has put into this agent because it leads to situations like this, where he's in a 1v3 against Loud, the eventual champions uh, of the world. And he manages to win this because of his smart Astro play, right? So he gets the first kill, is able to avoid the op shot as well. Gets the Astro suck on the spike as it's being diffused to pull less off it. And then I want you to watch this. Watch how quick and perfect this placement is of this star, right? And this is just absurd how well he quick. Look at that. He just straight away puts it down. He knows exactly where it is. And it's perfect. Look at this. Makes it a smoke. And that allows him to come in onto the site. Loud don't know where he is. He gets that kill on less as well. And then he still is going to be able to manage to get the final kill on Astro best insane i mean this is one of the best astro clips i think i've ever seen and he is probably the best astro player in the world and uh yeah eventually maybe one day you could become as good as sugar zero with those i mean absurdly quick placement of the stars and knowing exactly where he was on the astral form map uh and then just you know playing around his utility so well combining it all to making astra a very very powerful agent when used correctly Thanks once more to Gosu Academy for sponsoring this video. And I'll be excited to maybe see some of you guys there as a part of this boot camp as well uh, when I run my session as a part of it. Uh, so go into the link in the description or the pinned comment as well and uh, sign up today.